All right, so, as we know, Brian and I, Brian more, even more so than I, really like E.H. Taylor, small batch. So, here's a single barrel. Uh, not a particular pick, just a single barrel. Just a single barrel, but it's got a couple of trays. If God is it good. Well, let's dig into it. The nose is really Cherry. Good. Cherry, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of black tea and oolong tea. I actually it is, it, it, this, is, this, is, this is decent, like, it's not like a vegetal kind of green, but it's like, it is like leafy. I get tea. Bay leaf tea. Mm -hmm. oh, I wouldn't even go as far as fully botanical, because yeah. the only things I get are like leafy kind of stuff. Yeah. I get tea for the most part. Tea, caramel, spice, cherry. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like, this smells like the sweet notes of Buffalo Trace, not like the, uh, Drier notes, right? Like small batch, uh, EH tape. Right now, keep in mind too, single barrel means you could get one that is the polar opposite of this, correct? But this one in particular, which unfortunately there isn't really much info on, on the barrels, they just sell it as a single barrel. Yeah, this a lot of places big. do. This one's not, this is just a standard single barrel. That being said, though, I think if there's any brand that drastically differs from like the it's small Buffalo batch Chase. to the single barrel, it's Buffalo. It's, I would actually say. E.H. Taylor differs more than any of those. Agreed. I would agree. Although, even the regular Buffalo Trace, the picks are so dramatically different. That's true. That is but true. I think I think it's more of a Buffalo Trace thing more than it is just E.H. Taylor. But it's most pregnant. Here. Yeah. So. Oh, that's really good. Sweet, light. A little bit creamy. A little bit very, creamy. I, especially on the finish, very I get a bit of grainy, lit, like, you said, like, light, but, like, I get, like, a grainy grittiness that I get on Knob Creek, which is why I like Knob Creek so much. She's trying so hard over there. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, like, front end. It's a really gritty front end, but on the back end, it's really grainy. Yeah. <laughs> you were trying so I hard. I, I did that on purpose. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> you like them creamy, you'll like this one. Damn, I really like that. Yeah, this is like... This, this is, is so damn good. It's like brown sugar, leather, and like rich oak without like spice on the front end. Mm -hmm. And that does transition into that creaminess and like... Like, More it's, it's, it's not like with a lot of Buffalo Trace stuff where I think, oh, this has a dry aspect to it. This has some of those dry notes, but it doesn't taste dry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It just has some of those kinds of flavors. This reminds me of, like, Knob Creek. Like, higher end Knob mm -hmm. Creek and higher age Knob Creek. And I, that, I'm surprised I, I don't get a ton of cherry on the palate. No, I get it's some, I get a little bit, but it's, it's, the finish is, is like, cherry. Oh, it's almost like, literally, like, whipped cream and cherry. Yep. What's up, buddy? What's going on, man? How are you? How's it going? Here, let's let's wrap this up. Alright, sounds good. But, yeah, I mean that's a short one, but yeah, I'm cool with it. Nice.